everyone, this segment is getting to know us. So we actually have these questions from you guys. And what we're going to do is that we're going to pick a question and each of us is going to answer it. Okay, so let me begin. <laughs> so let me see. Okay, so my question is, oh my gosh, what in your opinion is a sin? Oh wow, very deep. So for me, a sin is something that is very serious. Something that you've done out of the norm that doesn't feel right. So if it doesn't feel right, if it's not for the common good of everyone, then for me, that's a sin. If I've hurt someone um, that's intentional, that's a sin. I agree. I agree. I mean, basically, if you're guilty about something, then you know that it's a sin. <laughs> um, I mean, I knew it initially from religion that, you know, it's something that you do bad and stuff. But for me now, based on now, it's, it's something that you're guilty. Yeah, about. I think I have to agree with <laughs> Ali. I, I think it's just something that you don't feel okay with that just feels wrong. You know, sometimes you know the, the difference between, you know, doing good and doing bad. I think when you do something bad, you're well, what if you don't you're know that sinning it's wrong, like, without getting... <laughs> that's the hard part of well, it. Well, but... that's true. <laughs> I mean, sometimes you might be unaware of it, but it can still be a sin. Gosh, I came from a religious background, so that's really hard for me to, to answer because life previously was just so difficult and there was... All you learned was about sin. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's just... I don't know, just being a good person and making sure that you're not doing things to hurt other people. If you're not hurting other people, you're fine. Okay. What do you look for in a partner? What are you attracted to both physically and personality-wise? Mm -hmm. um, so I look for both physical and personality in a partner, um, and I'm attracted to somebody... Obviously, I think it's cute. Um, maybe somebody taller than me. I mean, if you want to go to details, somebody taller than me. Um, somebody who will look more masculine. <laughs> I'm sorry. And then personality-wise, is he's comfortable about his sexuality and doesn't, you know, I'll be somebody that will be um, in line with my goals in life, basically. Uh. Okay, so what I look for in a partner um, physically, I need to be attracted to that guy. I don't really have a specific type, but I need to ha be attracted to that guy. Um, Personality-wise, that person needs to connect with me. That person needs to communicate with me. I want to receive a text in the morning, a text in the afternoon, a text in the evening. If you don't communicate with me, that's it. I don't care how good looking you are, how good you are of a person, we're not gonna be good together. <laughs> All right. Wow. <laughs> I like that, I like that. Because knowing what you like is important. In my case, um, I don't need the text all the time, but I do need trust. I think it's super important. I do need someone that is driven. I think being driven in life, it's super important. In your personal, in your career, physically speaking, I don't have a specific type like Ali. I also think that anyone, if you can, you can be of any skin color or any height, whatever, but I do have to have that chemistry mm -hmm. and that attraction. And you have to be into staying healthy and being physically active because it's so important to me as a personal trainer as a group fitness instructor and as a vegan i'm very into health so they have to be vegan he needs to keep up with you they don't have to be vegan but, but they, respectful. they should be open about the idea mm -hmm. and you know if i can turn them vegan eventually then great <laughs> that's ideal <laughs> miss kayla uh, for me, I would say somewhat athletic and very active because I do enjoy sports and being outdoors. Um, personality, I don't know, kind-hearted, funny, um, I guess patient, laid back. There's, there's a lot of personality traits that need to come together, know, but that's, that's it is, it is. finding the right guy is tough. But I, I don't know, just somebody I connect with that's right there on that same plane as me. That's good. That's oh. oh, I'm so excited. Yes. It's like being in a pageant. I know! <laughs> Here we go. Describe a particularly irritating pet peeve. Oh my gosh. Okay, this happened to me recently. I cannot stand when a guy or a girl chews with their mouth open. And it's like... <laughs> and you can hear that noise. Oh, I was with this guy. Um, and we were just having dinner and he just was open, you know, he was eating with his mouth open and the oh noise God. and everything. And I was just like, oh my God, I can't, I can't deal. Mm -hmm. That's something that 
particularly irritates me in, in, in a person. I, I just can't deal with it. So I'm with you in that. I can't. Sorry. It's just close it's your being... mouth. It's just so easy. It just you know, you can chew with your <laughs> mouth closed. Exactly. I think for me, something that, that I've always dealt with growing up was when you're having a conversation with somebody and somebody else comes into the conversation and just cuts you off and interrupts you. Mm. And then you're no longer there. You're treated like you don't exist. So anyways, what was it? <laughs> kind of like that. <laughs> that. That's something that's always driven me nuts because uh -huh. it's, just, it's just such a big lack of, dis of respect for mm -hmm. whoever else is around you. So feeling like you're invisible, like you just don't yeah. exist. No, I, 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 I get that. <laughs> I get that. For me, I mean like flakiness, you know, so somebody's late or somebody cancels. I, I really, really hated that. Um, I don't know why, but I, I just do. <laughs> I think it goes along the same thing. It's kind of disrespectful. Yeah. Oh, you? well, yes. Yeah. If I see someone in public picking their nose. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my I can't get over it. So there you go. Sometimes you oh just have gosh. an itchy nose, but it's how you do it. I no, think. it's really when that person puts their finger inside their nose and dig in. Uh, <laughs> Sorry for gold. It's being cute. so uh, visual right now. Not cute. Okay. Who is your favorite political figure? Wow, that's tough. I would honestly say definitely not Donald Trump. Um, I would say Obama, just because he handled the office with such charisma and, I don't know, just love for everybody. Just everything that he did was an embodiment of what America is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll go right along those lines and say Michelle Obama. <laughs> I was going to say the same one. I only oh live say the same for one. that woman. I think she is so inspirational. She's the embodiment of femininity and power and drive and intelligence. Mm -hmm. I mean, she's just a wonderful person in and out. And yeah. I, I have nothing bad to say about her. And I think she should be the next president of the United States. I hope so. I agree with that, so that's my comment. <laughs> I agree both with President um, Barack Obama as well as former First Lady we miss Michelle them. Obama. Yeah, <laughs> a family with so much grace and uh -huh. the American couple of today. Yes. <laughs> well, we all agree on something. Yes. <laughs> Well, this has been the first session of going through questions from you all. And if you want to know more about us, please continue to send questions because we love answering them. Thank you for watching Girls Like Us. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share to everyone.